All right, shoes, they go on your feet. You walk around. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But if you do it wrong on a cruise ship, it's your feet that are gonna pay the price. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, today is day 20. The countdown continues. We are getting closer and closer and closer and I am getting super, super excited. I cannot wait to go on my cruise. So day number 20 and today's cruise tip is going to be wear comfortable shoes on your cruise. Now this could seem silly. Obviously you would want to wear shoes on your feet that are comfortable, right? makes sense to us all, but I guarantee you if you were anything like me, because I have made this mistake, I don't want you to make it as well. So yeah, before you go on a cruise, you may go out and you may buy yourself some new clothes. You want to look good on your cruise. While you're out buying these clothes, you may decide, I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes to wear on my cruise. And this is where it can go a little bit sideways. See, you may not know, or you may know, but you can get on one of these big giant cruise ships, spend your day walking from venue to venue, from the dining room to your room, up to the pool, get something to eat, visit the shops. And by the end of the day, you could have easily walked five, six, seven miles just walking around a cruise ship. I have a Fitbit that tracks my steps and I have tested this on cruise ships before, and I have easily done as high as eight miles just walking around on a cruise ship on a sea day in one day. This doesn't even count getting off in port and walking around before the cruise and after the cruise. We're just talking on one sea day on a cruise ship. So you can do a lot of walking, and if you buy a brand new pair of shoes and you try to break them in on the cruise ship, while walking that five, six, seven miles, your feet are going to pay the price. So our cruise tip of the day is comfortable shoes. If you're gonna buy new shoes, buy them a couple of weeks before the cruise, wear them around and make sure they are fully broken in before you get on that ship. Or do like I do now that I have learned this lesson the hard way, is I already have a comfortable pair of tennis shoes that will be going with me on my next cruise. And that is what I'm going to wear because I know they don't hurt my feet. And I don't want to spend my cruise with my feet hurting because I've been there, I've done that, and I have learned my lesson. And that's why I want to share this with you today. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, let's give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day, and we will see you out on the high seas.